Hello guys, it's me Gaming Star here. Today I am back from another episode of Pikmin 2. Last time we had completed, um, you know, Awakening Hope. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully complete Valley Repose. Okay, so I'm gonna get 20 reds, 25 yellows. You'll see why I'm getting 25 yellows for. 25 yellows. I'm gonna get. 20 blues, just in case. All purples. Twenty whites. Okay. And last time, well, as you've probably already saw. I have lost I have lost a crap ton of pick mid last episode. <laughs> Mostly purples. Because, you know, they were sacrificed to the gods. The purples were sacrificed to Nintendo gods. That's what happened. I swear to God, if you woke up your mama, I would've been so mad at you. I'm gonna leave those two uh, unsprouted. Those, um, pick them behind because you know what? Spirit. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go. There's actually a treasure that um, I missed, and I know exactly where it is, so... I actually did a previous recording and it didn't I pretty much wasted a whole entire day just looking for it, so I'm doing it again. Let me go ahead and do this one. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave basically all of them right here. Okay, so stay right there, Louie. Olimar's gonna go ahead and do basically kind of luring the the beetle cannons. The homing beat these ho red beetle cannons into the other enemies so so they can kill them for me, just you know what? It's useful to kill them. Honestly, it's really useful. Hey! Come on! I dare you, come on! It's really, it's really useful to do that. Look at how easy that is. out really really well over here sure he kills himself come on I believe in you <laughs> it's stuck <laughs> oh my god that worked good I'm gonna make sure this one kills himself too nice There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, okay, there we go. So that's a good idea. Alright, purples. I killed pretty much all the other enemies. Hey. Oh, you won't suck the blood out of him, man. Almost. Okay, split. Alright, Olimar's gonna get the yellows. Louis gonna get the rest. He's gonna go over near the cave entrance and just, just, just chill there for a bit. Just gonna chill there. You know, he's gonna chill. Oh yeah, get rid of this enemy. So we built a bridge here last time, a while ago. So we're gonna go ahead and wait there. All right, so, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and go up here because there's a 
treasure up there, as you can see. See, there's a wooden bear kind of statue there. One more. Just done. What the hell? Stop a few. Come on. There we go. Okay, so carry that back. Good. I'm pretty scared of that bull board, but I think we can make it. I think. Wait, why is there one purple there? Hey. Come over here. Oh no. Wait. Can we do this? Okay, good. Let me pluck these two, so then I'll put them back. Excellent. Oh, my wrist. There we go. Name? Fossilized Ursi Day. 90% of them recovered! Hey, so we got 90% of the deck recovered already. Dang. Okay, let's go back. All right, so now... I'm too scared of this one, so I'm just gonna go ahead and carry it all the way. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry it all the way, because, you know, this works. So I'm gonna carry it all the way back. All right, let's go to the cave. I think we're ready. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're ready now. I just wanted to get that treasure out of the way, so... Let's go. I also uh, put away those two, uh, those two other blues that were there, so I put them away. I don't even care about this watery blowhard right now, so I don't even care. Oh! <laughs> hey, I made a good landing! Okay, so this is the last cave of this area. Let's go! Let's get going. Okay, let's go in. Shall we? So, all elements are here. Let's go. Frontier Cavern. Frontier Cavern, sub level one. Let's get going. Okay. Hold the fuck on. I have, a, I have like five yellows, so we go ahead and like. Sacrifice them. There we go. Good. I just wanted to get more purples because, man, I'm low on purples. Holy crap. Okay, there we go. Good. Okay. So, purples. And we got six. Okay, so there's the purple one. The ultra bitter spray. I've tried it!
hate it. Shut up. Okay. All right, let's have Olimar and Louie get both at the Let's do the glitch again. Let's do the glitch. We already did this before. So we just need to get pretty close to it and do both at the same time. And then we get double, so that's how it works. It's really, really useful glitch, to be honest. It's a really useful glitch, man, it really is. Like, you know, if you just get double of it, it's just so good. Okay. I just wanted to kind of check. Alright, let's go ahead and split. Okay, lickety split. Hey, what you doing? Got 16 purples. Why do I feel like there's gonna be traps? I don't know why, I just kinda do feel like it. Oh god. You get out of here. Hey. Let me get a few. Oh my god, we're getting so many of these. This is like my lucky day. God. God damn it. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Damn. Okay. It's just that there was like that there, so I couldn't so I couldn't like do the, the sneak attack. I wish I could have. It would have been so much faster because you know the hair is the weak point. But... Dang, that was that was literally like this like the first sub level, and I already lost Pikmin. I do not want that again to happen like the last time. I don't want that to happen. Okay, let's do it again. All right, so different layout. Let's go. Let's see if this layout's better. Okay, so I think this is much better layout. All right, let's go. Purples come to me. Do I like the uh, where's the violet candy pop bud? This man, I need it right now. I know. Dang it, there's no ultra viol um, violet candy pop bud. I need that right now. I know, but the poison. I know they're suffering. Let me get him. Let me get him. Another buried one. I'm sad there's no ultraviolet. Um, there's no violet kitty pop up because I need that right now, man. I really do need that. It's like something I genuinely really need right now. I actually need that because honestly, I'm running pretty low on. <laughs> I love the noise. Get that. Good job, guys. Hey, it's a Christmas ornament. <laughs> nice. There's another one. Here. 
right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I, love, I love the way they the noise was so stupid. Hey, name? Essential furnish. Get it, get it, get it! Good job, guys. Carry the corpses. Put them away. Okay. Name? Essence of Rage. <laughs> going Mario no <laughs> why are you staring at me like that man We have a Christmas gift. <laughs> okay. I really, I really like this theme, honestly. I really like all of the Christmas theme stuff. It's just nice. Okay, let's go ahead and get the rest of the stuff. Let's go this way. A little bit. go it's a Christmas present joy receptacle I heard a proc Icon of progress. Well, yeah, kind of. So. I'm sad there's n there's no um, purple candy pop bud yet because I need that right now. I really do need that right now, especially with my uh, lack of purples. I really do need them right now. Oh no! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh! I'm oh God! Okay. Uh, I... You remember how I said there are enemies that can recover health and there's only a few throughout the entire game? 
Well, uh, this is one of them. I'm just gonna say right now, this is one of them. It is scary. Oh god, it is, it, it, it's scary. It, it, it has babies too! That's the scary part, it has kiddos. Come over here, bitch! Come over here, I dare you! Come on over! Hey! Boy, I dare you to come over! If you're so wimpy, come on over here. Boy, I dare you. Oh, and by the way, you saw those um those bull borbs with like little leaves on their heads? Well, those are called bull men, if you want to know. They're called bull men. There they are. Okay, bull men. Basically, what bull men are is they're basically a type of Pikmin. Yeah, they are. I know. Kill the mom. Kill the mommy. If you want to get him, kill the mom. And you can. And we have bulb men. The confused bulborb has fallen with this Pikmin. They appear to be coexist peacefully. Strange, this bulborb has the least bad of the species of Pikmin. So yeah, kill the mama. Kill the mama and get the kiddos. There you go, you have kiddos. Okay, so, there you go. Bulbmen are basically immune to anything. So bulbmen are essentially the best thing ever. So they're basically immune to... Well, bulbmen are, they're immune to... To all elements. So, if you don't have any, like, this is especially gonna be really useful for one of the dungeons we're gonna get into in the future. Which, you're definitely gonna need Bowman, and it's only, you're only gonna be Blue Pikmin. And I think you already know what I'm talking about when I say that. Carry the corpse of your mother. Fuck, okay. Carry the corpse of your mama. Carry the corpse of your mama. Your mama's corpse. Carry it. No, yeah, okay. First. Only the adult can revive. So I'm not even kidding when I say the adult. Hey! Hey! You! What over here? Yeah, I'm gonna kill the babies first. Let me kill the babies. Hey! Come on! You were about to get electrocuted! Oh my god, that scared me! Okay! So, quickly, and as fast as you can! Get him! I'm just gonna say it! Get him! Quickly! Because they recover! And, I'm not even kidding when I say they actually do recover. Get him? Just... Get him! Oh shit. Oh fuck. Look, it's literally gonna revive itself! Get it, man! Just... Don't waste time and get it. Nobody wants to deal with it. No, seriously, nobody wants to deal with that. Like, nobody does. Okay, carry the corpses. Okay, okay yellows, come to me. I don't want you! God. This is a bell. Danger chime. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, Gary this candle. <gasps> oh! That actually scared me for a minute, I gonna lie. Okay. Help carry the corpse of the mama. Got a birthday candle. Fleeting art form. Carry the corpse. If you don't mind. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, let's split up again. Hang on. Come on, friends. Get the bulb and the white. What are we doing? No, not purples. If you want to escape, there you go. They sprout as well. Where you Come on, perps. They kill these uh, dwarf. The dwarf bull blacksmiths, because these guys are going to be assholes. I killed them, so there you go. Easy enough. Okay. Bury this. Get that off the ground. Good. Got another ring or bracelet. Gemstar husband. Okay, good. Finally. That's what I needed. here. God. Love folks, get out of here. Ok. 
Okay. Swooping snitch bug, get out of here. Oh, and you too. There we go. Good. Get this. for a minute holy crap don't you dare grab me god there it is. oh you fuck off Get out of here. There we go. Okay, we got a star. Innocent lost. <laughs> Dang, that's deep. Dang, that's deep. Innocence is lost. Holy crap. That is actually kind of deep. Dang, man. <laughs> it's just innocence is lost. <laughs> it's just a star. Okay, next one. Omniscious Sphere. Nice. Okay. Dang, my nose is actually kind of killing me a bit. I ain't gonna lie. Of rest area. Okay, so. Finally, we have a good... Oh, and by the way, those are Mamutas. You guys remember them from the first game. They are back. Okay, so Mamutas, basically, what they are, essentially, we're gonna take these Bullmen and we're gonna turn them into purples because I'm lacking purples. I'm gonna turn them into purples. So we got purples. Nice. Okay, so we have 20. Whoa. Okay, so my blue test. They're actually harmless. There you go. Okay, so mamutas. If you wonder, they're actually harmless. Look at all these mamutas. They're actually harmless creatures. They don't do anything. They don't kill you. They don't kill your Pikmin. They, instead, they actually plant them into the ground. That's all they do. Look what they do. They plant them to the ground, and they basically garden them. That's all they do. Trust me on that. They're actually pretty nice. You want to know. They don't actually harm you, but they do hurt They do hurt your captain, though. That is the thing. They do hurt your captain, but... They don't actually harm you. Look what they... Look. They're all planted to the ground. And they actually take care of the Pikmin. They just, like, you have to flower them. They water them. They actually do all that. It's actually kind of... It's kind of interesting. How harmless they actually are. It's really fascinating. And actually, it really is. The best they do is, um, is just like, um, you know, put deflorize your pick. That's the only worst thing they can do, but really, they're, they don't kill you. They don't kill your pick, but they do hurt your captain, though. So, yeah. It's just really not that. But Mutas actually have the same markings on, you know, the, the onions? You know how the onions have, like, the certain markings on them? They actually have the same markings on their arm, which is really fascinating. 
Some people say that maybe they are related to the Pikmin in a way, which is kind of interesting. So maybe that might be the case. I don't know. So yeah, if this happens, the worst thing they can do is just constantly, you know, you have to pluck him and it's just kind of annoying, but you know, they do they do do help your Pikmin as well at the same time. So they have kind of like a weird disposition. They're nice though. This is someone rest area. Eva has treasure. Well, it's Pikmin we have to fucking there you go. <laughs> okay, there you go. So we got a fist. Giant metal hand. So they do nothing to you. I carried all this back, if you don't mind. Carry that back. Okay! So we got a new upgrade. This is... Oh! Our debt's already repaid! Damn! Brute Knuckles. These are useful. They replicated human on fist. Glove much like the one laid in my junk hold. And this very glove, I have found the missing, the missing rocket fist in my junk hold. Tap A two three times, launch one two punch, one two punch. <laughs> all our deaths pretty much for pain. We pretty much already did it. We just need to go back to the surface, and it's all done. We've already reached our our limit, man. We already did. Holy shit, it's already paid. <laughs> Okay, fun to your gathering. Okay, here we are once again. All right, I'm gonna take the purples. I'm glad I have purples, to be honest. I really am glad. Okay, we have more bold men, but you know, since we don't need them right now. I swear that. Okay, so there you go. That's the bold men. Ah, bold men are so fascinating. Honestly, they're pretty hard. Bold one. Bold, bold one. They actually have an interesting entry in, um, in the enemy in the, in the, in the Picopedia. If you want to know, I'll show you guys. There's a lot of water and fire mixture here. Carry this back. This is a chess piece. Carry this back to place. I don't mind. At least you got rid of the fire for me, thanks. Thanks. Okay. Priceless statue. <laughs> Priceless. All right. Carry the corpse. Carry the corpses. Thanks. I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh... All right, let's do some... Um... Okay, so we're gonna have one captain stay behind in the exit, and the other is just gonna go ahead and kind of do its thing. Okay, so purples come to me. I'm gonna have purples and blues come over. And reds, so pretty much most of the typings come over here. Okay, so I'm gonna have blues first. Blues and purples. Let's have blues first. If we can walk through water. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and lure... Okay, so leave you guys there for now. Stay there for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them kill themselves. Come over here. Come on. <laughs> You're such a moron. Oh Idiot. Hey, over here. Hey, you. Come on. Come on! I, I dare you. All 
Okay. There's another statue. We're gonna need the, uh, the blues to grab it. But first, let me kill the enemy. Oh my god! <laughs> that works too! Okay, hey. Okay. okay. Well, honestly, I don't even know what to do here. Okay. We go nice all right good job okay so there you go so now i don't have to worry about them now let me go ahead and get get the uh blues carry this okay blues carry that back if you don't mind Good. It's kind of weird. The description actually says why. It's just kind of strange. Okay, so no more treasures. Let's go. Alrighty then. Frontier Cavern, so level 7. Oh boy. Okay, so... Purples, your time to shine once again. Let's go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of the babies first. Get rid of the dwarves because the dwarves are the ones that I want to get rid of first. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, and I forget to mention that there are freaking um falling rocks in the sky. Did I forget to mention that? <laughs> yeah, be really careful about that. They they just they're basically another trap that appear a lot. Did I forget to mention that as well? They are really really crazy and annoying. I'm just gonna try to get rid of them first. I'm just trying to like get rid of all of the all the boulders so they don't crush my Pikmin. So that's what I'm trying to do. If I can find them all. I'm trying to find them all, see if I can. That's two. Dang, that almost crushed my Pikmin. Holy fuck. I swear to God, if one just appears while I have my Pikmin, I'm gonna be pissed. There you go. Okay, carry this back. I actually have that bell actually at home. I actually have that bell right in my room, so I actually remember I actually have one. Those bells though, they actually sound pretty nice, I gonna lie. These are the jingle bell. You know, the jingle bells. Stay right here. Alright, good. We got a jingle bell. Spouse alert! <laughs> Spouse alert! That's a good one, though, honestly. That's a good name, Spouse alert. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Come on. Oh, fuck! <gasps> oh my god! Holy crap! That scared- 
scared the shit out of me. There you go, that sea watered away. Whew. What a save. Let's see if I can find the last one. I'm gonna get rid of all the dwarf bulb orbs because they're annoying. Okay, let me check. I think one of them is buried. I'm pretty sure one of them is buried on the ground. I don't think there's any more enemies to defeat. I don't think. Hmm. Lost the lights. Okay, let's go ahead and take a little. Right around here. Ah. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Layout. Oh my god, the, the dwarves are pretty much all together this time around. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh god, that actually scared the shit out of me. Oh my god, no. Oh, right there. That's, ooh, that was bad, that's bad. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Ooh, falling boulders, I hate it. Together. Oh god. There's one buried. <gasps> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Huh. <sighs> Those boulders. Boulders, boulders, boulders! Oh my God! How in the living frick? Oh, what a save! I'm actually way too scared. To not go over there. To go over there, man. Get rid of the babies. Get rid of the kiddos. There we go. Hey! Okay, carry that back. Okay. We got the spouse alert! <laughs> I love the name for this, it's just so stupid. Spouse alert. <laughs> okay, dig that up. Good. Good job. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, good. Okay, good. So we got a yo-yo. What a nice looking yo-yo. Name? Flame Tiller. Well, yeah, it does have flames on it, so it makes sense. Okay, let's go. Their next floor. Let's see if we can end, let's see if we can finish this episode. Let's see if we can finish it. Finish this film cavern. This episode, let's see if we can do it. Oh boy! Here's something that I don't know if I should talk about it. Oh boy. Okay, so you remember Emperor's Bulblax? You remember how we fought her in the book before? Well, uh... Those are the babies. You remember how I said there's like, um, uh, basically a lot to do with the, um... How, how, like, what I said, like, one of the strategies was to, like, um, basically go to one of the captains goes to her butt. Well! Now I know we're gonna go with this. These purples won't move. Okay, so this one is pretty hard. All right, so let's do it. This one might take some time. Though. I don't know. So okay, so have one captain. All right, so here's what we're supposed to do. Okay. So I'm, I suggest leaving the Pikmin there and then have at least one of the captains go on ahead. And I recommend having purples, obviously, because you know they're. So you see. So you see all of these little babies, right? Well, those are all her basically children. We're killing all of her children. We're killing her children. We're killing her children. Oh, and also they do a lot of damage, I don't know why. So, okay. So basically the babies. That is Emperor's Bull Blacks and her. Basically she's spitting out babies like, like, like wildfire. Look at that. <laughs> okay, like I said, have one of the captains stay there and punch the, basically punch the kids. Have one of the captains stay- look at all those kiddos. Oh my god. Don't have any Pikmin with you. You know why? Because- because you might lose a whole bunch during this process and it's not a good idea. So have one of the captains stay behind and defeat the babies. Well, you can have the other captain with the Pikmin. It is kind of risky though, especially with the with the captain's health, but that's the best strategy you can do. So so the babies don't go after your after your pigment and kill them. So that's the best you can do is have one of the captains kill babies just as they come out of the well, the anus basically. So Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and call all of our Pikmin that I brought over here. So I brought all of our Pikmin over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and split up. You see Louis taking a lot of damage from this. Thank God we went to that cave before. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna split it up. We're gonna take the purples. Look at all those babies. She's spitting out like fucking wildfire. Look at all that nectar too. It's also nectar heaven. Way you kill them. So basically, she spews out endless children. Yeah, the children. Okay, so basically, just punch the fuck out of the kids. Okay, so now that I have this, make sure the babies aim for the captain that's on the butt. Look at all that, she's spinning her, she's spinning her like kids, kids left and right. Literally. Damn. Okay, so, I recommend freezing her. Here's where you're supposed to be. So. Go ahead and switch captains constantly. And I mean that. Switch out captains. So. So, when she's just stay, she's not gonna speed out any babies. For now, anyway. Okay, so. She switch out some captains. All 
Alright. This is the best strategy you can do. Yeah, Louie's running out of health. I gotta switch the free. So she's already halfway down. This is I know it's very slow, but this is the best thing you can do. So I recommend just doing this. It's the best thing you can actually do ever. Look at all that nectar we have! Holy crap, so much nectar. And also boulders might fall down, so be really careful as well. Okay, let's switch the There you go. That is and first bull blocks part two. Okay. <laughs> the purple's over there holding hands. Old factor senses overloading approaching outer stink limits. The stench must be emanating from this object. So that is a baby shoe. You may be wondering why is there a baby shoe? Well, you will see. Okay, so that's a baby shoe, all right. Yeah, and first bull blocks is down. That's basically this is the final time we actually fight her. Okay, so let's go ahead and we don't even need the freaking uh, nectar, but whatever. Take the shoe. This is another upgrade item. Take it with you. Oh, whatever. It's actually one that needs it, so be a good idea. All right, let's go. Right, let's just wait for them to. Uh, Go ahead and drop off the... So we're gonna wait. There you go. Name? Repunctic Appendage. Basically a baby shoe. This object has pockets of air under its surface. It is perfect for boots I'm making. Processing complete. Na nano assembled of the rush boots is com concluded. So basically it allows you to run much faster. These nullified wind resistance by circulating air beneath the soles. You will move faster and you will no longer be blown away by puffy blowhogs nasal blast. Perfect. Okay, let's go. And we already repaid our debt as well. Dang. That was quick as hell. Okay. No Pikmin lost! Whew. Essence of Rage, Danger Chime, Spouse Alert! <laughs> I can't get over Spouse Alert. That's honestly my favorite one. Spouse Alert. <laughs> we already repaid our debt. We completed our debt, man. Our debt is complete. You've repaid the entire debt! Yay! We did it. I'm gonna be quiet for this. Listen to this.
Okay, so that is the end, in quotations, of Pikmin 2. Not really. You know, we still have a whole bunch more to go, clearly. And we accidentally left Louie behind. How do we know? <laughs> well, we, we at least we paid the debt. So, here we have credits. Basically, this is just... These are pseudo credits, I like to call. They're not really real credits, you know. They're not the real deal, but, you know. They kind of are, but not really. So it's not really the end of the game. You could consider this the end of the game, but it really isn't. We still have a whole bunch more to go. We still have a whole bunch more treasures. And all that. A lot of treasures. <laughs> Poor Louie. We accidentally left Louie behind. How? I don't even know how we did it, but we did. I love how Louie is just like... <laughs> just, 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 I love this little... I just... I love this. I don't know why. I love this little, like... Cutscene, like, uh, end credits. So, anyway, I'm obviously gonna keep going with this, obviously. So, yeah, I'm gonna return to the planet and get more the last remaining treasures and find Louie, because we left him behind. You know? Because we're idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I love this so much. I just love the fact that Louis just like, yeah, whatever, you gotta left me behind. You guys left me behind, man, you guys left me behind. My nose is killing me right now. God. Dang, that's a lot of companies. Oh my god, that's a lot of companies that... <laughs> Wealth Consumer Healthcare. <laughs> thought they were in it. Yeah, we left him behind. Pikmin lost! Okay, so, let's look at our results prior to paying the debt. Pikmin lost to water. Basically, I've never lost any beef. I actually lost two, but that's pretty much it. So, anyway... So anyway, let's look at our um plate. Okay, let's look from top to bottom. All right, prior to debt. So they spent 14. The shortest amount I actually spent was 11 days. Pikmin lost 45. Lost, actually lost 69. I'm not even joking. So Pikmin lost a battle, 34, 50, and 64. Pikmin left behind, none. Pikmin lost a fire, none. Water, two to one because, you know, well, yeah. Pikmin lost electricity, none. Lots of explosions! Nine! <laughs> and five, and one. In my first battles, one. So, Pikmin lost to, to poison. None. Born, 401, 351, 383. Red Pikmin, born, 128. Get it? 128. Okay. 59, 77. Purple Pikmin, born. Total playtime, 7 and 101, or 816 to 853. So that's prior to death prior so now we're gonna get to after resume the expedition and return to the planet yeah He's gonna come with us. Okay! So! Yeah, he's gonna come with us. We're missing one- How am I missing one more? Above ground treasure. Okay, I'm missing one more, apparently. Alright, so the perplexing pool. So we completed Awakening one completely. Wistful wood. That's a new area. Okay, so you get this area after you repay the debt. This is the final, final area of the game. The Wistful Wild. So, Valley of Repose. I'm missing one more treasure. I mean... How am I missing one more? I do not even know. I'm just missing one more. Um, Protecting pool. Okay, so... We also have some new um, stuff as well. So I'm gonna show off a few things first. So yeah, this is what happens when you complete a collection. You collected the frigid Sirius. Chase away winter drones with the festive set. And, and you get sales pitch. Which, here you go. Be satisfied with the decorative outer shell of this rectangle. It's more enduring since you can't see what's inside. Not being able to open it makes it all the more special. In reality, it is empty. 
So you can't see all of my journal and the sales page to complete a collection. And this is lost. A staring object reminds me of a dream I once had. When I was a child, the twinkling stars had so much promise and mystery. Damn, Olimar. Okay, then we got this. This crimson jewel was found whole deep below the icy surface. When viewed from the distance, the gem's dazzling red looks like a dancing flame. Of course, the dancing flames may be just a sim symptom of acu acute hyperfermia. <laughs> Dang, so we still have a whole bunch more to collect, obviously. Look at all this we still have. We have, like, so much more to get. Card. From a strange pattern, I look at it and feel a good fortune smiling down on me. I could just buy a lottery ticket right now. I'm sure I could win. So basically, we still have a whole bunch more to go, obviously. And then we have the upgrade. Look, so this is the upgrade series. Basically, all of this is, like, upgrades and stuff. So we still have, obviously, a few more, more to go. And all that. And then... We have the Piclopedia. Let me show you guys the Boldman. Boldman, Parasiticus Pikminicus. The Pikmin family. This loathsome creature is in fact the parasitic form of Pikmin that has infected a bulb orb. The more Pikmin that nests in a Pikmin onion is this parasitic relative spends its life inside the body of a host, usually a bulb orb. Juveniles fall in line and mimic the actions of their parents until maturing in full independence. By burying its roots like limbs into the nervous system of the host, bulb orb, and infusing it with natural hormonal extractions, the bulb is able to control virtually all of the host's bodily functions. However, the host's ferocious appetite seems impossible to suppress. Yeah, then we have the bulb or larvae. Larva. We defeated 70! Holy shit, 78 of those. So if you want to know, here we go. These motherfuckers are called the dairy bugs. I hate them so much. See the mamutas. Oh no. Here, anyway, so here's the notes. Unknown, unknown family. The imbalanced in mother's arms and the mother are along the most notable features. Feed them seeds and fruit. Mamutas don't actually sow and grow plant species. But other species have exhibited seed bearing behavior for the purpose of storage. Mamutas only species so far to actually cultivate fields of plants. Interesting. And you see Louis' notes. Inedible. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Louis. How does it taste like chicken? Since the serpentine torso into thin medallion screw, we are on the metal rod, the talk say onions, and barbecue over the open flame. See what he says about the Emperor Boblax. To pre prep the tongue for cooking, marinate in olive oil and chop into cubes, stir into the pot with carrots, potatoes, and cheese, cover and slimmer over at low heat for several hours, accompany this mouth-watering rustic stew with a heavy hearty roll. Damn, Louie. You haven't lived until you've tasted a mint bread snarket, Shank. If you're feeling especially saucy, stuff a bird with a can of your favorite savory nectar. Throw it on the barbecue and let there the juice mingle in the meat beverage canister separate. Damn. Dwarf bowl boards. Fiery bowl blacks. No stove? No problem. The sizzling beast practically cooks itself. <laughs> Remember to thoroughly extinguish the snakes prior to eating. Damn, Louie. You're literally te teaching me cooking lessons right now. Ivory, violet. For spectacle delicacy, make a pate de foie grass from the massively obese creature's liver and spread it over a sesame cracker. <laughs> oh my god. Louie. Okay, so that is pretty much it for today. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please comment, subscribe. And next time, we're gonna go ahead and go back to the perplexing pool. And go ahead and try to get more treasures there. And then I might go back to the value post to get one treasure that I'm missing. So, see you guys then.